Hello friends, I am Gopu Kumar. Welcome to M4 Maths. In this section, we are going to learn how to convert a given equation into a partial differential equation. There are five notations which are used to form the partial differential equation. Understanding and remembering each of them are essential for solving problems in this section. Five notations are P is equal to dou z by dou x, Q is equal to dou z by dou y, R is equal to dou square z by dou x square, S is equal to dou square z by dou x, dou y is equal to dou square z by dou y dou x, T is equal to dou square z by dou y square, where z is a function of two independent variables x and y. In this section, we are going to deal with three types of problems. First one, elimination of arbitrary constants. Second one, elimination of arbitrary function. Third one, elimination of arbitrary function phi from phi of uv is equal to zero, where u and v are functions of x, y, z. Hello friends, here we are going to learn how to form partial differential equation by eliminating arbitrary constants. Form the partial differential equation by eliminating arbitrary constants a and b from z is equal to a x raised to n plus b y raised to n. Here we have the equation z is equal to a x raised to n plus b y raised to n. For turning this into a partial differential equation, we have to eliminate arbitrary constants a and b from this given equation. We are going to use partial differentiation to eliminate these constants. Let us first differentiate equation z is equal to a x raised to n plus b y raised to n partially with respect to x. Upon differentiating z partially with respect to x, we get dou z by dou x is equal to here a is constant on differentiating x raised to n partially with respect to x we get n x raised to n minus 1 plus here b is constant as we know on differentiating partially with respect to x y is constant and derivative of a constant is always zero therefore Derivative of y raised to n partially with respect to x is 0, b into 0. Using the notation dou z by dou x is equal to p, replace dou z by dou x with p is equal to a into nx raised to n minus 1, b into 0, 0. p is equal to a into n into we can write x raised to n minus 1 as x raised to n into x raised to minus 1. a raised to m plus n is equal to a raised to m into a raised to n. Using this formula, we can write x raised to n minus 1 as x raised to n into x raised to minus 1. p is equal to a into n into x raised to n, x raised to n into, we can write x raised to minus 1 as 1 by x. On cross multiplying, we get px is equal to a n x raised to n. px divided by n is equal to a x raised to n. This is equation 1. Now let us differentiate the equation z is equal to a x raised to n plus b y raised to n partially with respect to y. On differentiating z partially with respect to y, we get dou z by dou y is equal to on differentiating partially with respect to y, x is constant. Therefore, derivative of x raised to n is 0. b into on differentiating y raised to n partially with respect to y, we get n y raised to n minus 1. Using the notation, 
dou z by dou y is equal to q, we can replace dou z by dou y as q is equal to b into n into, we can write y raised to n minus 1 as y raised to n into y raised to minus 1. q is equal to b into n y raised to n into, we can write y raised to minus 1 as 1 by y. On cross multiplying, we get y q is equal to b into n y raised to n. y q divided by n is equal to b into y raised to n. Equation 2. Here the given equation is z is equal to ax raised to n plus b y raised to n. z is equal to replace ax raised to n with px by n. px by n plus replace b y raised to n with y q by n. y q by n. We can write z is equal to px by n plus y q by n as z is equal to px plus q y divided by n. On cross multiplying, we get z n is equal to px plus q y. Now the arbitrary constants a and b are eliminated. Therefore, the required partial differential equation is z n is equal to px plus q y. Next question. Form the partial differential equation by eliminating arbitrary constants a and b from x minus a the whole square plus y minus b the whole square is equal to z square cot square alpha. Here we have the equation x minus a whole square plus y minus b the whole square is equal to z square cot square alpha. Equation 1. For turning this into a partial differential equation, we have to eliminate arbitrary constants a and b from the given equation. Here we are going to use partial differentiation to eliminate these arbitrary constants. Let us first differentiate equation x minus a the whole square plus y minus b the whole square is equal to z square cot square alpha partially with respect to x. Upon differentiating x minus a the whole square partially with respect to x, we get 2 into x minus a. As we know, on differentiating partially with respect to x, y is constant and the derivative of a constant is always 0. Therefore, derivative of y minus b whole square is 0 is equal to derivative of z square partially with respect to x is 2 z and the derivative of z partially with respect to x is dou z by dou x. Here cot square alpha is constant cot square alpha. On dividing both side with 2 we get x minus a is equal to z into Using the notation dou z by dou x is equal to p, we can replace dou z by dou x as p cot square alpha. x minus a is equal to z p cot square alpha. Equation 2. Now let us differentiate equation 1 partially with respect to y. On differentiating partially with respect to y, x is constant. Therefore, derivative of x minus a the whole square is 0. Plus, on differentiating y minus b the whole square partially with respect to y, we get 2 into y minus b is equal to derivative of z square partially with respect to y is 2 z dou z by dou y. Here, cot square alpha is constant cot square alpha. On dividing both sides with 2, we get y minus b is equal to z into using the notation dou z by dou y is equal to q. 
replace dou z by dou y with q into cot square alpha. This is equation 3. From the given question, we know that x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to z square cot square alpha. Replace x minus a with z p cot square alpha then x minus a whole square becomes z p cot square alpha whole square plus replace y minus b with z q cot square alpha then y minus b the whole square becomes z q cot square alpha whole square whole square is equal to z square cot square alpha we can write zp cot square alpha whole square as z square p square cot raised to 4 alpha plus zq cot square alpha whole square z square q square cot raised to 4 alpha is equal to z square cot square alpha. From these two terms, we can take z square cot square alpha as common factor z square cot square alpha into p square cot square alpha plus q square q square cot square alpha q square cot square alpha is equal to z square cot square alpha on dividing both sides with z square cot square alpha we get p square cot square alpha plus q square cot square alpha is equal to 1. p square cot square alpha plus q square cot square alpha can be written in the form cot square alpha into p square plus q square is equal to 1. p square plus q square is equal to 1 divided by cot square alpha. p square plus q square is equal to 1 by cot square alpha tan square alpha. Now the arbitrary constants a and b are eliminated. Therefore required partial differential equation is p square plus q square is equal to tan square alpha. If you feel the video helpful please subscribe the channel.